Well, when uh, mixed martial artists, when they uh, retire, it's, it's a lot of them, they, they just listen to their coaches, so they really don't know how to train people. You know, and if they didn't uh, back themselves up with school or with another profession, well, it's going to be very hard for them to find a job. You know, and some of them, they got a real great personality and, uh, uh, you know, maybe they put on camera or they, they, they start doing movies. Maybe they did go to uh, college and they did, uh, like, for, for instance, I'm a professional cook, a chef cook, so I made sure that I was that. So whatever happens, I always thought in the back of my mind, what if I break my leg? You know, and, and it's going to be a complicated fracture I can never fight again. At least I have something to fall uh, back to. The bar fighting video that you guys see on the, the internet, uh, by the way, that the, whoever made that, he gave me a lot of work. I mean, pretty much all my movies and commercials, everything comes from that clip. It's a one hour and 45 minute uh, self-defense DVD. And what he did, he took all the bang, bang, doing, doing, ding, all that stuff he cropped in like a four and a half minute clip. And it's really funny. The first time I saw it, I was, I literally, I was crying. It was that funny. But uh, like I said, it gave me a lot of jobs. You know what, I'm, I'm very fortunate with my oldest daughter. She has a, a really good boyfriend and uh, I, I had no, no trouble with him, but I can only imagine if she comes home with like a gangbang or something. Somebody with his pants on his butt, I never could understand that, you know. They have the pants and the butt is hanging out and then he would come home and say, yo, yo, dad, what's up? And uh, you know, those, those little gangsters, the white gangster dudes who want to act like they're rappers. You know, no, that's, that's not for me. And uh, I don't know, Hanzo Gracie choked his, uh, uh, his daughter's uh, boyfriend out the first time he saw him. I don't know if I would do that. I do know if they go to prom, I'll put him in a room first and I will talk to him in a certain way or I take him on a fishing trip. Okay, these are the rules. You know, something like that. But he's, uh, yeah, he's gonna keep it in his pants, let me tell you that. Oh man. I, uh, me and Fedor are million anchor. Yeah, I'm really impressed with him. And uh, to fight a guy like that will be awesome. And then if you do backstage, there's no pressure. If there's no pressure, the best of you will come out. So that's why I uh, say that.